All right, so the first thing that you're going to do is go to the link that I sent to your facilitators. I've also posted the link on Edmodo. That link will send you to a site that looks just like this. I'm just setting up a fake student account so that you all can see what you need to do. Um, if you don't have an email address, this will have this will be a blank for your email. But if you don't, you'll just click I don't have an email address and it'll give you these instructions. Then you'll need to agree to the terms of use and click register. And then it will be sent to me for approval. So one moment and I will approve it and then we'll continue. All right, now that I've approved the R fake student, I'm going to log in. And this is how we will be using this site. All right, so this is what it looks like. It might look different when you log in because there will actually be some categories here. But what you're going to do is you're going to go up to start a discussion. I'm going to click on that. And there are four types of discussions. You want to select forum. So for forum, you're going to click in the starter topics and you will post your essay here. So you're going to attach a document. It can either be a PDF or Microsoft Office. Um, so you'll want to say that it's the correct type. And you will have to type something in here. So um, what I want you to do is come up with one question that you want that you have a question about for your essay. So what is it that you want people to help you with the most? You'll need to come up with at least one question. Um, so I'm going to put, um, how could I get my audience served attention better in my conclusion? Feel free to give other suggestions. All right, so then what you're going to do is you don't have an end date. You just want to attach your document. Um, I want you to title this as your last name, first initial, dash the school that you go to. So for me, that would be stone space K dash CMU. So this is going to be different for each of you. Then you're going to just choose a document. So I'm going to try and find a document that's just plain old something. I'll attach a comma slices because you all have seen that before. So it's going to show me a preview. And that is all you need to do. You just need to make sure that your question is there, your attachment is there, and then click Submit for Approval. Now, I have to approve each post, so it will not show up until I've done that. So I'm going to pause one more time and uh, approve it and then show you what it looks like. All right, once yours has been approved, it will show up here. Um, and, you know, it'll show up in order of most recent, but if you, so if a lot of people have posted after you, you'll just want to make sure you're in the right category and you'll have to scroll down. To view what it looks like, you just click view and comment and it makes it bigger. Um, what you all will have to do is so you'll be attaching your essay. You'll need to open up at least two other students' essays, read through them, and then comment with the questions that I've provided that you need to answer um, on their essays. So there'll be three questions, I think, that I'm going to have you kind of think about and answer about their essays. 
Um, and we'll talk about the peer editing of the actual essays later. So if you have any questions, let me know. But that's a quick um, introduction to this website. I hope that you all find it easy to use um, and an easy way to interact with people that you are not in a physical classroom with. Um, let me know if you have any questions.